Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this one we are going to show you how to do the teddy bear embellishments for any hat that you've crocheted. If you're interested in this hat, the link is above. You can click on that. This hat is completely adjustable. There is a pattern listed for all sizes from newborn to adult. Um, and if you're interested in learning how to do these little embellishments, stay tuned guys. Thank you for watching. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Okay guys, so the materials that you will need, you don't have to worry about the brown yarn, um, that is for the hat itself, but you will need a cream, a black, and a white yarn, and um, you're going to need a size H and F crochet hook and a tapestry needle. So for the snout, um, which is what we're going to start with, you're going to do a simple um, slip knot and you're going to chain a total of 10. Okay, and for this video, I am going to do step by step with you. So I'm going to try to show you as much as I can without making it too repetitive. And um, once you are done your chain 10, we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. The loop that's on your uh, crochet hook does not count. So we're going to go right into that third one and do a double crochet. If you're not familiar with how to double crochet, I do suggest that you go ahead and look at the tutorial for the hat for the um, adjustable beanie. That way you'll get the concept down packed that is a little bit slower. Uh, this tutorial here is more so intermediate, but it's very simple because you're basically just doing double crochets and uh, single crochets. So right now... Um, Again, we're doing double crochets in the stitches, starting with the third. And now that we're at the very last chain, we're going to do three double crochets into that same chain. This is going to create our little um, curve for the snout. Okay, so this is what we're looking like now. We finished the first side of the snout, and now we're going to work on the other side of the chain. So we're going to flip our work and go right into the first chain on the other side. And we're doing seven double crochets, one in each chain. Okay, so this is one. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now that we do the seventh stitch. Um, the seventh double crochet, we're going to go into the next stitch and we're doing three double crochets in that same stitch. That's just going to create the other curve for the other side of the snout. So that's two in the same one and three. And at this point, we then join. And then we are going to chain one. So at this point, this is what your work should be looking like. That is the foundation for the snout. Okay, so for round two of the snout, which is the last round, we're going to do two single crochets in the very first stitch. So I just completed the first two. And in the next six chains, we are just doing a single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our next four stitches, we're doing two single crochets in there. So you're gonna put two single crochets into the same stitch four times, four separate stitches. So let's just go. So this is one, and go right back in and do the second single crochet. This is the second stitch that we're doing it in. 
That's a total of two. This is the third stitch that we're doing a double of the single crochet. And this is the last stitch where we're going to put a single crochet in twice. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do single crochets in the next six chains. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And for the last three, we're doing two single crochets in the last three stitches. So that's one in the first one. I'm going to go right back into that same one. There's the second. Next stitch. Going in. One single crochet and two single crochet. And the last one. One single, two single. Then we are going to join to the first single crochet. And we can fasten it off. So what we'll do is we'll cut it. And you want to make sure that you leave a long tail. So that way you have enough to um you know sew it in okay so moving on to the nose we are starting with a magic ring click the link above if you need to know how to make a magic ring we are chaining two once we have that ring and very simple we are going to do five double crochets inside of the ring so you're just going to make sure that you hold it and you know try to keep everything together because when when it's small like this it can be a little flimsy um so you just want to be careful not to twist up your yarn um and again you're doing five double crochets inside that ring this is number four and this is number five once you've completed your fifth one you're going to chain two and with that chain two you are going to then join it to the magic ring So this is your chain two, and you just take it and pretty much slip stitch it to the ring. Okay, so make sure that you are doing it to the ring and not to the first stitch because that will create a circle. And right here, we don't really want a circle. We want it almost like a half circle so that way it gives us the appearance of the nose okay so you just then um pull the strings to secure it and fasten it off again make sure that you leave enough room so that way you have enough to work with when it's time to sew in the materials so this is what the nose looks like on top of the snout pretty neat huh So at this point, um, I would suggest going ahead and starting to um, sew that in. So you're going to get your tapestry needle and you want to sew your embellishments that are together like this prior to putting it on the hat. So you want to make this one full piece before you actually put it on your hat. You're going to take the nose and put it to the very top of the snout, make sure that it's centered, and then just start the process of weaving in and out. Um, doesn't necessarily matter at all what it looks like behind it. No one will see it. So it doesn't have to be neat. But just go ahead and make sure that it is secure. And once you have it secure, I'm going to suggest you go right to the middle of the nose. And you're going to go through because we're going to get ready to create the mouth at this point. So you want to pull it through the back. And this way you're just going to go find your way right to the middle, um, right above that uh, line where we did the single crochets, right above that stitch and insert your hook. And then you're going to put it right back into the center of the nose.
I hope this is making sense to you guys. I am such a visual learner. I don't really know if I'm a good teacher, but some of you guys have left some great and encouraging messages. So I hope I'm not disappointing you with this one. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't pull it too taut so that way you have room to, to work with it. Now we're going to create the smile. And basically we're just using those single crochets as a guide. So you're going to go in and go um, weave in and out through where we single crocheted. That's going to give you the smile that you need as well because it's a, it was crocheted into a curve. Okay. So again, we're just going in and out, starting with the one side of the smile. You don't want to pull too tight. You want to make sure it's secure, but you don't want to pull too tight where it then begins to buckle the snout. And you, depending on how wide you want the smile is how how you how high you will go. Um, I want it pretty wide, so I'm gonna go um, kind of high. So I think I'm gonna do one more. And if you just follow that line, like I said, with the single crochets, you won't um, you know be there won't be any way that you can mess up except for if you did what I just did and pulled out the tapestry needle <laughs> so um, that's one side and now we're going to go right over to the other side that's why you need to make sure that your string is long and we're going to do the same thing to the other side to create the other part of the smile again it's very important that you don't pull too tight when you are doing this because you want to make sure that the snout does not buckle and I'm just making sure that it's even And guys, I just want to encourage you, you can do this. This is my second time creating this hat and the embellishments. And when I say the second time, I literally did them two days apart. So um, definitely was something new for me and I feel so accomplished. So hopefully you guys will feel the same. If you need any assistance, I will try my best to answer all um, comments below and see what I can do to assist you. So once you have your smile the way that you want it, I just want to show you where you would place it on your hat. If you had this flap hat, um, it's going to go right on the rim of the where you changed and put the accent color. So now we're going to move to the inner ear. It starts with the magic ring. It's really simple. We are chaining one and we're going to do 10 single crochets inside the ring. Once we get to the end, we're going to join it to the first single crochet. And then we're going to pull to secure it. Okay, so we chain one for round two. And we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So your chains do not count as a stitch, okay? So they don't count. It's just a way for you to get to the next round. So you're going to do two single crochets into each. And that'll give you a total of 20 um, stitches. Once we have our 20 stitches, we're going to join it. And at this point, we're going to go to round three. And we just want to add in the um, outer ear color which is going to be the brown so I just went ahead and added that color in you want to do it seamlessly where you won't even be able to tell where the color changed and at this point we're just doing single crochets all around the front I mean we're just doing single crochets all around that um, the outer ear So once we're done, we slip stitch it together, join it, 
and this is what it looks like so it's your inner ear you're going to do two of them and you're going to move them aside now you're going to do the outer ear it's basically the exact same thing you're just not switching color so I'm just going to show it to you and you know I sped it up a little bit for you but it's the exact same thing 10 single crochets inside the ring two single crochets into each of those and then you're going to do another round with just single crochets Okay, so once you're done, pull that. Um, this is what it will look like. So the reason why you do an inner and an outer is so from the back of the hat, it appears as it's brown and the front has the inner ear as if it's, you know, like a real bear. So you then join the two together and you use your tapestry needle and you're going to sew it together. Uh, I'm just cutting off some of the excess on the inner ear and I'm going to go right in and just start sewing it up. Making sure that you keep the edges lined up. And that way you won't have any issues when it comes to um, sizing. And also when you guys are doing the ears, the inner and outer, you want to make sure that you keep your gauge the same. Meaning you want to um, not make one too tight because then it will appear smaller. So you just want to make sure that they're the same as as similar as possible so this is one that's completed the front and the back and now we're going to move on to the eyes um and i don't know if you can see the white so i'm just going to use a towel um to help see now the white the, the eyes are very simple everything is pretty much almost like you would be starting a hat um we're going to do the magic ring and we're chaining two and then we're just doing 10 double crochets inside that ring and that is all you have to do for the eyes you magic ring chain two and you're doing 10 double crochets inside that ring you're going to join it and fasten it off and make sure that you do another one because you do want to have a pair of eyes i mean unless your bear is a little you know different and which different is okay Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. And we're going to complete the eye. Now for the um, pupil, I used the F hook to make it a little bit smaller. Um, but I wanted to do a complete circle. So if you guys aren't comfortable with this, you can always use buttons for the um, pupils of the eyes. But I went ahead with the magic ring again. I chained two and this time I did five double crochets using that smaller hook. So after I did my five double crochets, I'm going to join them together and fasten it off. And there you would have your, your set of pupils. Okay, so join it. If you feel like your eyes are not, you know, symmetrical or it's a little lumpy, uh, we can always fix that when you go in to do the sewing. And again, I would suggest sewing your eyes on or the pupil to the eye first before you put it onto the actual face um, or the hat. I'm sorry. So this is what it would look like. Now for your ears, guys, just to help you out, you want to pick a round. So I picked... Um, sewing it in between rounds number four and five on the hat so if you do that both sides will be symmetrical just make sure that you do it the same way on both sides and you will be all set and guys that was so so easy um i chose not to go in and show you guys how to do the um sewing with the tapestry needle because i figured you would know how to do that if you have questions you can definitely feel free to hit me up and i'll try to um assist you guys uh, now I did go in and I added uh, two braids at the end you know this is a the hat that I did was for a newborn 
So basically you just go in with the tapestry needle and you're going to filter the strands through. Um, I just cut long, about 18 inches of each uh, color, put it through and did the braid.